Okay, so today we'll be looking at myotome examination of the lower limb or muscle power. So what do we mean by myotome? So it is a group of muscles which have a common nerve root origin. So it comes as part of a spine examination. So we assess the strength of different groups of muscles and with that finding we try to uh, estimate the pathology related to the spinal column and the level of the spine associated with it, level of lesion. So as to say, so first let us understand the various movements that we can see in the lower limb. So hip flexion, let's see hip flexion. Okay, so this is hip flexion and knee extension. So from this we understand that every joint has a uh, has a component of the lower limb which is, which is associated with. For example, the hip joint is associated with the thighs, knee joint with the leg, ankle joint with the foot. So again, flexion of hip, extension of knee, okay, and now dorsiflexion of ankle, yes, and plantar flexion of ankle. Now, extension of the great toe. Okay. So extension of the great flex, flex, let me flex one again. Yeah, extension of the great toe. Yes. So these are the movements that we will read it with. So what we basically do is we apply a resistance to the particular movements that we just saw and we assess the muscle power. Okay. So the first one will be L2. So this will be related to hip flexion. So ask the patient to go against the resistance provided by your hands. Again, okay. Okay. Again, 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 yeah. I laughed. Okay, again. Okay, so this will be L2. So this assesses the uh, petal. The, so this gives a clue about any possible lesion at the level of L2. So let us say there's a lesion at L2 caused by, say, a prolapse in the vertebral disc or spondylosis or any infection. So if it affects or it compresses the nerve root at the level of L2, L3, then you will find that the hip flexion may have a reduced power, a reduced grading. Next, we have the knee extension. Okay. So you ask the patient to go against the resistance provided by your hands. Then you have dorsiflexion. So you do the same thing. Then you have the, so dorsiflexion is mediated by L4. So L2 is, hip flexion is by L2, knee extension by L3, ankle dorsiflexion by L4, okay, and extensor, grade 2 extensor by L5. So go against my resistance. And finally, S1 by the plantar flexion. So this is how you assess for the myotome. So accordingly, according to the muscle grading, let us see it as a reduced, uh, muscle grading over any of this myotome, then it gives you, gives you a clue about an underlying pathology or lesion over a particular root, nerve root. <clears throat>